Hey, hey, ladies, happy Thursday. Time to stop whatever you're doing and pray for your husband. So welcome, welcome to hashtag praying for your husband daily, especially if you're new and you have never joined before. If that's the case, let me just give you that two second skinny on who the hey ho I am. My name is Julie and I've been doing this um, weekly daily um, podcast. That was confusing and it's not a podcast, so that was extra confusing. I have been doing this live series now, um, Monday through Friday, for over a year and a half um, because I have a personal conviction that regardless of how dang busy I am, right, right, regardless of how busy I am, I want to remain committed to something I have found grows my faith, grows me as a wife, or in my wifing, as I like to say, and, um, contributes toward growing my marriage. And it's something that I can do regardless of whether or not that's something important to my husband in this season. So hey, 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 all my friends. I see you popping on. Ashley, Brandy, Shannon. Hey, girls. Um, so I am a wife. I've been married to my husband for 10 years now. Um, we've been together for 13 and a half-ish. Um, I mean, probably longer than that. It's probably like together for 14-ish and married for 10 and a half. I don't know. Now I'm just making up numbers. It seems like I'm making them up. I'm not. Anyways, all that to say, <laughs> I am married and I have a little boy who is um, two and a half, so y'all can pray for me in that. He is cray and fun and cray. Um, and I'm admittedly a little bit diva, which I think today's look, <laughs> I think today's look just screams diva, right? Like with the super high bun and the like leopard print. Yeah, so I'm a little bit diva and I'm totes okay with it. Like I'm totes okay with using short, shortened words, living my life through emojis, wearing lots of makeup and or wearing leggings and a shorter shirt than people say is appropriate for leggings. Also throwing that out there. Um, or just living in my workout clothes all day. So that's me in a nutshell. So um, hey Katie, I'm glad that you're on live. So that's me, but I'm also just a real wife, <laughs> um, a real wife who loves God and um, loves my husband um, and yet has lots of things on my plate. And if I don't make it a habit and make it an intention to pray for my husband, it doesn't happen. And here's what I have found in the, like I said, year and a half plus that I've been doing this, um, that as I've developed this habit, when I'm, when I'm not with you guys live, I am more apt to pray for my husband in other situations. So um, during what I have now coined as the argue discussion, you may have ever experienced that with your husband. Um, when those happen, my response is more quickly to pray for him. Now, let's be real. I'm not saying I always just pray for my husband when I'm mad. Like, no. But I will say I more pray for him in those areas. Um, I've also found that I just, I, I feel like the Lord reveals to me areas where I need to be growing as a wife more than he needs to be doing something different as a husband. And the whole reason I started this thing was because I had a lot of those, he needs to be doing this, 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 and this, and then everything will be like so much better in our marriage. Now, there are definitely days where I would say that is true. I would still say that is true. But I've learned, I've lived long enough to know that that's actually rarely true. The truth is, I've always got areas where God needs to grow me, sharpen me, and change me. Especially, especially, especially is not a word. Especially is a word. Especially in my marriage. Um, Mariah, you are cute, so thanks for that. Um, so, all that being said, I have found making a habit to pray for your husband daily has so many positive side effects. I hope that you will choose to join me in the journey. So we are right now using the emojis in an incredibly clever way to just continue to um, like just cover my life in emojis. That's like a life goal of mine that I'm uber proud of. Like all the heart eyes for that, all the praise hands for that, and I might also throw in the twinning girl emojis before they ruined that one, because that one was really cute and now it's kind of weird looking. But anyways, it's one of my life joys is to communicate in emojis, and so I'm like so stoked to be doing our praying series around them. So we're working our way through the emoji keyboard, and today we have landed on the elephant. 
So when I see an elephant, which is rare, <laughs> when I see the elephant emoji, or let's be real, I do have a toddler, so I see elephants a lot in books and such. And so an elephant to me always triggers the idea of remembering something. And I often refer to my husband as an elephant, which sounds mean, but I mean it because he does not forget anything. And like the dude could handle to forget a few things, if you know what I mean. Um, so I often think of him as an elephant. And so when I saw the elephant emoji, when I was getting ready to decide what we would discuss today, um, the elephant definitely stuck out to me because I think as married women, sometimes we hold on to things just a little bit way too long when it comes to our marriage. So maybe our husband has said something 12 years ago that still replays in our mind all the dang time and it's not doing us good, it's not doing him good, it's certainly not doing our marriage good and who knows who else it's actually hurting because it's still there. Um, or maybe he is doing that, maybe he is replaying one of your mistakes or holding something against you or maybe he's got something um you know in his past that has nothing to do with you that daily still affects you and your marriage i would say that's kind of where what i think of when i think of this topic the fact that in marriages we are both bringing into the marriage some baggage so it might be a nice knockoff louis vuitton bag it might be, or it might be, um, you know, a Target special tote. You, you brought baggage and so did he. And so I think this is an interesting way for us to pray for our marriages today because the truth is, if we want to continue to grow in love in our marriage and to continue to build a strong foundation that will last over the years and through the trials and through um, you know hurting each other and disappointing each other um, and sharing just the life journeys together we're gonna have to learn to forget some things and trust me I am preaching to the dang choir today Kathy let me see what you said sometimes there's an elephant in the room yeah that's true yeah so that's for the sake of clarity in my own mind, I'm not gonna take that into the discussion because I feel like I could take that somewhere else, but I would say that is a true statement for reals. So, because I need to walk out the door here in a few minutes, we are going to pray for our husbands in the area of being willing, us first as wives, because y'all know, if you, have, if you have watched this series more than twice, hopefully you know one of my, like, um, convictions about the idea of praying for our husbands daily is that we cannot go praying for our husbands to do things that we're not willing to ask God to do in us first. I think that's one of like the, that's got to be like one of the foundations of the theory behind praying for your husband daily. It's the idea that yes, there are things for both of us, husband and wife, that we would probably like to see different in our marriage. But if we're always waiting for the other one to make the change, we're always going to be upset. We're always going to be disappointed. And so we have to be willing to ask God, is there something I need to do or stop doing that might be part of the problem? And so, yes, absolutely, girl, if you and I were sitting together over Panera hazelnut coffee, which wouldn't that be so fun, if we were together chatting about whatever thing comes to mind when you think of what's difficult in your marriage, I would probably say to you, yeah, that sounds hard. That sounds hard. And he may or may not be receptive to talking about that difficulty. But what you can always do is to pray. And often we need to realize that God wants to do something in and through us before or as part of how he will address that issue with your husband. I mean, I'm just speaking from 10 years of marriage experience in my own life. So that being said, let us quick pray for God to show us first as wives, if there's anything that we need to make like Elsa and let it go and not be holding on to it with an elephant trunk, like holding on for dear life. Um, is there something we need to let go? And then that he would give our husbands that same wisdom. Is there something that he's holding on to that's affecting our marriages today? So that being said, I feel like right now, I feel like today I'm like looking like a little bit 
like a zookeeper or something with all of these animal prints. I feel like I'm very Jersey right now, which is kind of hilarious. <laughs> it's just kind of hilarious. I look very Jersey today, so we're just going with it. Um, so all that being said, let us, if you're in a place where you could type, would you please maybe just, just to entertain me, type the elephant emoji if this is an issue you have ever experienced in your marriage or you see how this might be playing a role and you've never really thought about it before. If you can get behind the idea of why we would need to pray for wisdom and discernment and our eyes to be opened to areas where we need to let something go and or our husband maybe needs to let something go so that there can be fresh growth or reconnection in our marriage, please, please, please do me the solid of dropping an elephant in the comments. I can pretty much guarantee I've never said that sentence before, drop an elephant in the comments. And now I have said it twice, which is pretty amazing. So, all right, I see your elephants, love it. With that being said, hurry, let us get to the praying part. All right, let's pray. Oh God, thank you so much for who you are and the fact that when you look at us, you are not like an elephant with us. You are willing to forget. Oh God, I'm so thankful for the fact that you're willing to forget our past sin because of Jesus. You're willing to forget our sin of 20 minutes ago, of 20 years ago, of 20 years from now. And you're such a good, loving father in that way. So first we stop and we recognize the goodness of the gospel that says, you're willing to forget our sin because of Jesus' perfect life. And when we put our faith and our trust in Jesus' perfect life, we get that clear slate that you no longer remember our sin and hold, us against, hold it against us. So God, we're thankful for that. And we recognize that um, as wives, one of our privileges and yet calling and responsibilities is to love our husbands the way you love us. And so first, God, we recognize that some of us Mm, all of us are, whether we realize it today or not, or we're ready to admit it or not, we're probably holding something in our husband's past against him and it is negatively affecting our marriages. So God, would you show us each individually, because you are a personal God, would you show us individually what that might be? If it's one thing or if it's 20 things, would you reveal it to us? Would you give us the ability to trust you, to let it go, to no longer hold it against him, to seek um, your, uh, your spirit's power to um, forgive him and to let it go so that our marriage can be strengthened, so that we can be glorifying you through the ability to forgive as we've been forgiven. And God, I do pray for our husbands who most, most likely, more than likely, have an area or two or 20 where they may be holding things of our past against us and it's negatively affecting the marriage. God, would you give our husbands insight into what those things might be and would you give them a deep desire to have growing unity between us as husband and wife that he would be willing to let those things go and that we wouldn't in a moment of um argue discussion bring each other's pasts up whether it's the past argument from last week an issue before we were even married or an issue that haunts us in our past god would you allow us to be reminded by the elephant emoji that um, to grow and to progress as husband and wife, we've got to learn to let things go as they happen, to truly forgive one another in the moment um, and to, to move toward um, continued unity and forgiveness and oneness and restoration and reconciliation. So God, would you do this in us? We recognize we can't do it in our flesh. In fact, the enemy wouldn't even want us to do this. The enemy doesn't like it when we forgive one another because it's a reflection of what Jesus did for us. So, God, we recognize that we're not going to necessarily want to do these things. But the truth is, is we want to please you in our wifing. And so we ask that you would give us the ability to see these things and to act on them accordingly. And we ask that you give our husbands that same desire as well. And God, inevitably, there will be something that happens today or tomorrow or in the next month where we'll be given an opportunity to put this into practice. So in those moments, would you remind us, Holy Spirit, would you remind us of the fact that we've been forgiven and it's our privilege and our um, and our it's our privilege and it's our opportunity to love our husbands well, to show forgiveness and to not hold things over them. So show us how to do it. Give us the grace in the moment to do it. And would you give our husbands the same desire as well, so that we would be walking in unity and in growing love in our marriages. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. All right, nothing more fun than opening my eyes 
to lots of ele elephants. So if you're just joining, I see Carrie and Sally just jumped on. Um, sorry, we're done. So go back and think and catch the beginning of the recording and how an emoji of an elephant could relate to your marriage. So y'all, today was kind of short, which I really promise I want them to be shorter. So do me a solid and pass this video along um, because I think, I think that you have a friend or two or 22 who probably could benefit from this idea of learning to let some things go in her husband's past and or praying for him to be able to do that so that our marriages will flourish and ultimately we'll be growing in our Christ-likeness and we'll be glorifying God through our marriages. So pass this video on or you can um, tag a friend below. Jordan, I see your comment. You are so sweet. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Feel free to pass it on or tag a friend so she can be a part of it too. And guess what, guys? Tomorrow is whoop whoop Pizza Friday Boy Mom Sweatshirt Day. I'm already excited about it. All right. I will see you then. Y'all have a fabulous day.